Our encouragement from the Word of God comes today from Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10. And again, we're talking about Jesus in the wilderness and the temptation. And after the third temptation, this is what Jesus says in verse 10. Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. I want to challenge you today, here at the end of this week, that this can be your verse. We've been talking during church and things about foundational verses, and if you haven't uh, picked one for yourself, this would be a good one. And if you have picked one for yourself, use that. But I want you to, to emphasize this one today. For Jesus says, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve. Will you say that? I will worship the Lord my God, and him only will I serve this day now and forevermore. Wherever you are right now, and not if you're, if you're driving or what, but, but say that. Say that out loud. I will worship the Lord my God only, and him alone will I serve. And say that every day, every time today that, that you have a break or it comes up, repeat that that you will serve the Lord your God and only him and only him will you serve and bury that deep down in your heart in everything that you do and say that you are going to make this stand with Jesus and say that my God, I will only worship you God. You alone are God and you are the only one I will worship and you are the only one that I will serve and I pledge you my life today. Do that and I know that God will bless you. Continue to pray for those around you. Pray for those that are that are that are that have the coronavirus. Pray for those who are working, serving and helping and pray that God will heal our land and serve God only and him alone shall you worship.